like there are many neurological and psychological disorders that the world is still attempting to understand. The world of scientists has laid the basics out with the facts that they have accumulated through statistics as well as life studies, and they have shared this knowledge with the masses. Autism, which is known by its longer title, Autism Spectrum Disorder, is a disorder that lies along a wide line of different symptoms and it's hard to pinpoint. During this speech, I will explain in length the developmental disorder that is called autism. Today, I will discuss what autism is, what the symptoms for autism are, as well as the therapies used to help individuals with autism. There is a statistic for you all. One out of 54 people are diagnosed with spe autism spectrum disorder. Three out of four of them are male. To explain why the ratio shows a high number of people, there you go. Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects communication as well as behavior. It usually appears in children approximately two to three years old, but adults have been diagnosed with this disorder as well. One of the reasons this disorder is a spectrum simply is because there are many variations of this disorder and how people are affected by it, ranging from severely challenged to gifted individuals. Asperger's and pervasive developmental disorder are unified under the spectrum of autism. Now that I explain what autism is as a whole, it's time to delve into details of this disorder, such as the symptoms involved. Autism is a spectrum of different symptoms that affect individual individuals in diverse ways. For example, when it comes to communication, an individual can go from nonverbal all the way to being able to speak normally. Normally being monotone the majority of the time. Another example lies in the behaviors of these people. One side, non-affectionate, avoids eye contact with other people, while opposite side, they are very affectionate. Some people have issues such as gastrointestinal disorder. Others suffer from seizures. Some have issues such as sensory overloads, which tend to lead to self-harm as well as aggression, while others have sleep disturbances because of the lack of melatonin in their bodies. There are other symptoms that show up in adults as well such as limited interests, sensory issues, issues interacting with others socially. These symptoms also overlap with disorders like anxiety and attention deficit disorder. After learning what ASD is, as well as the symptoms that fall under this spectrum, I will now explain about the therapies that are utilized as early interventions, as well as lifelong therapies to better assist children and adults with the disorder live more stabilized lives. There are many, many types of therapies for individuals with autism spectrum disorder, which is used to help them, for one, be able to understand their disorder, two, be able to control it and help live better lives. There are therapies such as speech therapy, which can help teach nonverbal children sign language so that they can still communicate their wants and needs. This type of therapy can go as far as helping them be able to talk and be able to keep eye contact with other individuals to mimic how normal people communicate with each other. Another therapy is applied behavioral therapy analysis, which is designed to help reinforce positive behaviors and teach new skills as a rewards-based method. There are plenty more therapies that can be beneficial for people with autism, such as occupational therapy, which is utilized to help those individuals learn how to do everyday tasks, for example, tying one's shoes. Though this therapy aligns with the goals and individuals and how they want to achieve these goals. Today, I have gone into detail about autism spectrum disorder, which includes what the disorder is, what the symptoms are, and also the therapies that are used for individuals with ASD. 
it is recommended for parents to get their children tested when they are starting to notice these symptoms mentioned. Whether they have this order or not, it can help the parent and or caregiver of this individual give them the best opportunity for their lives to be successful.